Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving into a distillery never before featured on this channel, and hailing from the great north. That's right, it's Whistlepig 15 year. Estate Oak Rye Single Barrel Store Pick. So, uh, Whistle Pig. Um, I've tried just a few of their younger expressions. Gotta say hate is the right word. Hate them. Would never consider purchasing anything from Whistle Pig. But, my good buddy Kevin loaned me his uh, fancy bottle here. That was a store pick. And he said, you Bourbon Bill, you gotta try it. It's got some age on it. You may like it. So we're going to dive back into the picky trough and see if the old 15-year changes my mind. So a few interesting things. Price on these bad boys, uh, sky high. Sky high. These are about like $230 to $250 hair. So crack open that wallet because it's big bucks if you want to find one of these. This one happens to be a Total Wine and More of Colorado pick um, from barrel 2390, if you happen to have that exact bottle, but I doubt it because this is bottle number 9 out of 80. That's right. Only 80 total bottles of this were available, making it as rare as hen's teeth, as they say. Um, but hopefully this is indicative of other Whistle Pig 15s. I know it's single barrel, I know, but... Hopefully it is. This one comes in at an unusually high 118.7 proof. You compute 59.4% alcohol by volume. Gotta say though, gorgeous dang bottle. I mean, feels hefty in the hand. Got the whistle pig embossed here. And it's got this beautiful heavy metal cork with a blue 15 year, like epoxy coating over the 15. This bottle is chef's kiss of elegance. I like the label too. I mean, I, I really do like this. So this is a uh, Vermont Oak finished in Vermont. So estate Oak rye would be like a state Oak from Vermont. They probably make the barrels like that. And it's obviously a rye, but for those patriotic among us, as I am, this is a product of Canada. Dang it, Kevin, you fooled us. That's right. Whistle pig is Canadian rye. If you didn't know, uh, Canadian rye. So this is not your good old American rye here. This is this is our our neighbors to the north, Canada. So Canadian rye aged in Vermont, I guess, or Vermont barrels, or some portion was aged in Vermont. We don't really know. There's not much else on this bottle. It does come though in this fancy cardboard box. Look at that. Look at the box. So not the best packaging for two hundred and fifty dollars that I've seen. Uh, I mean. You know, I guess I guess she fits in there nice, and it looks good on the display case. But I thought they could do better. Give me some wood. Give me some wood for that kind of price. Now, in the back of this box, it says, Our vision is to respect tradition and embrace progress. To create Whistle Pig 15, we begin with some of the oldest rye whiskey in the world. From Canada. And innovate by finishing in sustainably harvested Vermont Estate Oak from the forest surrounding our farm. So like I said, it's, it's their oak barrels from their farm. And it said, the result is a pure expression of Vermont's best, bold and assertive with oaky, smoky, and heavenly finish. We'll let the angels rain down because we're about to taste this bad boy. So, should you shell out 250 doll hairs? I'll let you know in a minute. So color on this bad boy. It's medium darkness. You know, it's not 15 years, 118 proof. I kind of expect, like, a real dark, rich color. But I just not, not as dark as I'd hoped for, you know? All right, let's give it a nosing. Oh, it does smell good. The maple syrup from Vermont on here? A lot of, like, deep, dark, and rich caramel little bit of maple syrup. 
I get like a like a hay note, which is generally like a younger hay, but this is like a, like a sweet corn hay. It sounds weird, but it's it's a good hay, which is the first good hay I've ever smelled. That should tell you something. Like a very creamy confectioner sugar type note on here. It smells creamy. Overall, I'm pretty uh, pleasantly surprised by the nose. I didn't know what I was going to get into with Canadian rye, but this is very good on the nose. Alright, well, without further ado, it's all really about the palate. Or like 80% of it. So let's give it a sip. It's interesting. Do I like it? Yes. Would I spend two fifty? No. No, this is... Um, I think this would be good at like $100, $120 even, somewhere in there. There's like a pink eraser, a sharpie note, which is actually the oak. Some people say they get that from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I don't get that from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's here. It, it's the oak component in this. And it's just like, it's a very sharp oak. It's not a sweet oak. It's not a mellow oak. It's like a sharp oak note. Um... It doesn't feel young. It feels well-aged, but there's a sharp oak note in there that I find okay. Not my favorite oak note of all time, I will say. The maple and the caramel and the confectioner sugar kind of follow through then. It is pretty good. Decent mouthfeel. I do like the mouthfeel on it. Um, and the finish is long-lasting, and it has a, like a nice oak finish that is more traditional we'll say bourbon type notes on the finish. I do quite enjoy the finish on this. Bottom line, I just don't know that it's complex enough to bring to bring the A rating and to bring its value in terms of dollars. Bourbon Bill's rating on this is going to be a C plus. I think it's very well put together. I think it brings a good flavor, good mouthfeel, good finish to it. It's not personally my ideal flavor. Could be yours. It's not bad, though. It's not bad. I, I do enjoy it. It's just not my maximum enjoyment level. Pricing, though, on this is, is, is skewed. I mean, 250 bucks. get the hell out of here. Um, at $100, I'd be a player, probably. Somewhere in that, in that low 100 range, I'd be a player. But 250 Sayonara. Now, what can we compare that to? Not the original bottle, but how about a Maryland Heritage Series 14-year-old rye? Let that sink in. 14-year-old MGP rye, aged 12 years in Indiana, 2 in Maryland. Well, this is actually a, <laughs> a Wild Turkey Masters Keep bottle. My Sherwood bottle kept getting condensation in it, so I chucked it in the garbage and I poured the remainder into this fine uh, Masters Keep bottle where it has not gotten any moisture. So, excuse me, I forget the proof one. I believe it was around 110-ish, somewhere in there. Let's compare. Price on these was about 200 when they dropped, somewhere in there. Um, this is the badge version of the Maryland Heritage Series. There is a single barrel version, which would have been about 250 so or 225 something like that. So, roughly the same price as the Whistle Pig 15. One year younger, though. One year younger. Let's take a look at our colors. Oh, the Sherwood's a little darker. A little darker. Let's give it a nosing. Oh, that's what $200 smells like. Far more complexity here in terms of like the maple oak sweetness. Um, much prefer the nose on the Sherwood. Let's take a sip. Mmm. A plus rating on this one. Um, that's better. The Sherwood here from the Maryland Heritage Series and, and you know, the Mount Vernon and uh, there's like BPR. There's, there's like four of them. Um, it's better for my palate. It's it's sweeter, thicker mouthfeel, longer finish, more complexity. It's got more oak to it. Let's say you don't have two hundred to two hundred fifty dollars in your pocket. What's a more available, less expensive, but still fantastic rye? 
How about a Sagamore Spirits 8-year rye? So about 80 doll hairs, somewhere in that range, um, from Sagamore, released in like 2021 and 2023. Lucky for you. MGP. So same as the Sherwood, just almost half the age, you know? It's an 8-year rye. Versus a 14 and versus a 15. So, how good could this be? Now, proof on this bad boy is 111.4 proof. 55.7% alcohol by volume. So, I don't remember what the shirt was. I think it was like 110, like I said. So, somewhere, could be different. But, it's somewhere close to these. You know, 118, 111. What's seven proof points among friends? <laughs> Now, does this $80, eight year Sagamore beat a 15 year, $250 whistle pig from Canada? Does a younger US beat an older Canadian in a fist fight? Let's find out. Gosh, the Sagamore smells good. Missing the oak component of these, you know, these heavy hitters here for sure. But a lot of sweet rye spice, that maple-ish note on here, confectioner sugar, caramel. It's all present in the Sagamore. Let's take a sip. Man. Man, oh man. That Sagamore is heaven in a glass. I'll link it above to my, re my review of the 8-year, but... Just punches above its weight glass. Mmm. It's all maple, caramel, confectioner sugar, rye spice. It's sweet and delicious. Long finish, thick mouth feel. I don't know. This could be real close. Let's go back to the Whistle Pig 15. Or that note I said was like pink eraser, Sharpie marker. It kind of tastes like spruce now, in a way, on the Whistle Pig. Um, again, don't hate it, don't love it. It's I'm just kind of in the middle one. I'm on the fence. I think I, I'm on the leading side that it's good, but that isn't my favorite note of all time. Back to the Sagamore 8 year. So honestly, I think I prefer the Sagamore 8 year. Which even the fact that it's close, $80 versus 250 What's going on, Whistle Pig? What the hell is going on? So, should you buy a Whistle Pig 15 year? Maybe. Maybe. If you're a rich man, or you won the lottery, or your wife forgot it was Father's Day, didn't get you a gift, and you really want to try it, go ahead. It's not bad. This is very good. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. Is it worth $250? No. Sorry, it's not. It's not, it's not that level. It's not. Um, if you're a frugal man, or, you know, woman, or you like a deal, buy the Sagamore 8 year instead. You'll regret nothing, and you'll save some money. If you're just, can't get on board with buying Canadian, you know, you're just like, eh, like, socialism, freedom, I, if you just can't get on board with it, that's cool. Buy one of the Maryland Heritage Series instead. Uh, a, that's I think those are definitely better. And you can probably get them for a, a few bucks cheaper than you can this Whistle Pick. 15-year store pick. And again, this is a store pick of 80 bottles. So, don't know how indicative this is of their other barrels. I think this is a good barrel from them, but I don't know how indicative it, it is of their other barrels, right? Um... Am I going to go out and run and buy a bunch of Whistle Pig? No. No. And unless Kevin buys more and and loans me these bottles to review, I don't know that we're going to see any more Whistle Pig on this channel. So if that saddens you, I'm sorry. Hit the subscribe button. It'll make you feel better. If it makes you happy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Because we're all in this together. If you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button, everyone. Thanks. Have a good evening.